So, how's going? Yeah, fine, sir. But Talk I practiced mm -hmm. this graph yesterday. Uh huh. We'll continue, sir. No, no. We have doubt. Let's clear it. No. No, I didn't practice, sir. Oh, you said you didn't practice. Yeah, yeah. And, sir, and uh, can you provide us with sample resume, sir? Uh, I didn't give you so far, right? Yes, sir. Like, what I came to know is, mm -hmm. even though, like, for uh, applying for fake experience also, uh, consultancy people will be providing with this uh, fake list of companies, no, sir? Ah, uh, so, correct. That they would help you with that, no? Uh, what uh -huh. I heard is they'll be providing only this fake company list, but actually the job nature, like if I'm going to apply for a data scientist role, mm -hmm. I should be able to put up like projects like uh, related to data science, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So institute people will not uh, have idea regarding that it seems. Like, Correct. See, they will not have idea. Second thing is interview you have to clear, right? Yes, sir. So yes, you sir. should know what is there. Yeah, that's what. So, just if I get uh, sample resumes regarding this data science projects and all, uh, uh, based on that, I just will be able to form certain ideas, no, sir. Correct, correct. So, can you help me out in this? Yes. Matter? So, have you started building your resume? I just want to have a look at it, sir. You will get hundreds of resumes on online, no? On like not just the format, no sir. Format. No, 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 not format. If you type data science resume, you'll get hundreds online. First, you start building with what you already okay can. Okay, okay. 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 Then we will take this and uh, edit it. Okay, okay, okay. Today I'll do that, sir. Today I'll yeah. do. Yeah. And uh, even if you have also, just please try to provide, no sir. Well, I do have. Okay. okay. I'm just trying to. Okay. See where they are. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yes. I do have, I do have. Okay. So today I'll work on this, sir. Mm -hmm. Resume part. As you said, I'll try to gather from net uh, and I'll try to just uh, form a basic structure. Mm -hmm. uh, and whenever you, uh, it's possible for you, like based on your free time, you just try to uh, provide those resumes, sir. Like, I understand you'll be having a lot of data on your system. Mm -hmm. So, it's difficult for you to search, I know. No, that's okay. No, I, I, yeah. But, um, uh, as I didn't practice, I have no doubts. So, we'll continue with the class. Okay. Um. Um, any, um, uh, I'm just thinking, um, so I think we have done almost everything, right? <clears throat> um, pre-process, PSP yes. things I'm saying, you know, not the data science stuff, Okay. but non-data science, <laughs> almost everything we have done, correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So. We can uh, uh, begin with um, uh, what do you call it? Today you said statistics. Yes, statistics, sir. right? Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. So let's get started. We saw a data set, sample data set, right? Yes, sir. Uh, yeah. So we will probably use the same data set and okay. perform. Uh, some of those stuff. So I'm going to st start our studio. Let me share my screen. So uh, before that, sorry to interrupt. Uh -huh. uh, in real time, like whatever project we may consider, like based on our uh, convenience and all, we can opt for Python or R Yeah, yeah. You can say that you have exposure to both. Okay. okay. And say yeah. interview, they will not ask you code, right? Or if they ask you to code, they'll ask you which language you want to choose. Okay. okay. They're not going to say that you have to do it in R only. 
okay not just a, not just about interview sir that's not a big deal but really see work work if whatever they are using you have to do no how can you choose your own stuff you tell me okay yeah <laughs> so whatever, i think practice yeah. <laughs> whatever company is using okay the same thing you have to use yeah 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 because okay. you are not the only one in the company if you exactly. are the only one then yes you can do yeah. whatever you want to do okay okay but there will be other people you you know do you have to collaborate yes 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 i understand because i don't love r as i do python sir <laughs> you might have to do third language also in the job ah okay. yes 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 sir okay so whatever it is you should be ready to work with that sort yeah okay okay yes sir thank you sir we'll continue okay you can see my screen yes sir okay. and please uh, post this in the page no sir yesterday see, everything is there in the book no pdf i've already posted no ah done okay okay then say same thing okay say call the concept maybe i might be using some extra line or things like that but it's the same thing same stuff okay no problem yes sir okay Um, okay so um, how to find mean right uh, i want to find mean of let's say mpg miles per gallon okay okay so i'll simply say okay mean equal to okay yeah mean of um data tf dollar mpg okay okay and then you can print mean here okay so if i run this so mean is okay 20.09 right Okay. Yes, sir. Median also we have a function. Okay. okay. For more we don't have a function, so you'll have to write a function to do that. Okay. 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 Now let's say we want to find um, linear regression. We want to run linear regression. Okay. Okay. Now uh, let's run this data set itself. Now let's say here I want to figure out. the displacement or maybe power yeah. okay power based on mpg so we'll see if there's a relationship between mpg and displacement or hp or not right okay yeah or maybe hp and displacement let's do it okay okay so we already did here right uh, displacement and let's say we put hp yeah Yes. So if you see, yeah, with increase in uh, uh, yeah, but after certain, it's almost constant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yes, sir. So, mm, um, maybe let's do MPG and uh, this MPG only looks better, I guess. Yeah, inverse relationship. No, no, not ha huh, inverse relationship, but it is yeah. more like yeah, it's yes, longer sir. yeah. So let's say if you know MPG or let's say you know displacement, you want to predict MPG. Okay. So in that case, your Y will become MPG, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, you want sir. to predict MPG yes. based on displacement. Yeah. Okay. So not to find linear regression. you simply have to say um lm okay so the regressor will save it and you say lm okay y tilde x okay so this is our y so i'm going to say y this sign tilde sign and x okay 
Yes, now you can print the regressor here. Okay. So when you run it, so see, this is your intercept and this is your display uh, M. So you get MX. So minus yes, 0 0.04 X plus 29.59. Okay. This is the this is how you can find linear regression. Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. Now, if you want to find uh, more information, you can say print summary of. Okay. Summary of regression. So see here. It tells you that this is a strongly correlated, you know, is significant. So you should include it. So the p-value here, you see, is less than 0 0.05. It's almost zero. That means there's a strong correlation between them and you can go ahead and use it for. Okay. And what is the accuracy here? R squared yeah. is 0.7. So it's not that great. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. So this is how you can now, if you want to predict something, okay. Yeah, for unknown uh, uh, HP, I mean MPG, we need to find out. Correct. For, sorry, for unknown displacement, we need to find out MPG. Correct. So you say predict, you simply use predict. Okay. Since this is used, uh, I mean, now this is designed for, uh, you know, machine learning, right? There's not much uh, this thing that you have to, you know, use or install, things like that. Okay. So here, first you give the regressor that we have. Okay, and then you give the value for which you want to predict. Okay. So let's say I want to predict for mm -hmm. y equal to, or maybe, uh, data okay equal to c into i want to predict for uh, displacement is in the hundreds right 100 200 so i'll say 120 comma 150 comma 200 comma 300 i'll simply put data here okay okay yeah. and let's say this is stored in result so you go and print result. Okay, so I'm going to run this model, get the regressor. Okay, add, get the data. Okay, predict, run the predict. Data must be data frame format. Okay, it must be in data frame, it says. Okay. Um, so what we can do is we can say the data frame of yeah so data equal to this data equal to data dot frame of data okay now okay new data has four of variables have 32 rows so Okay. okay, so what I'm going to do here is, let's say I put, I want to predict for 190, then what happens? Uh, It's correct. I mean, it's it's printing for all uh, the basic data set. Maybe uh, I don't know how many rows it has. No, it has thirty-two rows. That's what it's saying. Okay.
this one that we are providing has four rows, but variables that is in the regressor had 32 rows. Yeah. So it's considering all the variables, maybe. Yeah, but uh, am I making any? Why should it consider? Right. You know, um, yes, sir. <clears throat> what we need to do here okay uh, so this is regressor fine okay um but when we are doing this lm okay try to give same variable names okay what i mean is here i'm going to say let's say um output equal to this and let's okay. say this i call it as input okay okay and i give output and In okay input okay. okay this is fine but now when i'm trying to predict right yeah uh, Here, let's give X here. Okay. Then line number thirty seven in place of data, it should be X. Okay, data frame, no, sir. Yeah. There. It's because no, it's not able to find thirty-eight. We need to change, no, sir. Uh, sorry. Yeah, right. Comma data. So, uh, of course, here x, yeah. and let's say we give x here. Ah. Uh, See, generally this happens, but when you give different value. Okay. And why is this new data being printed in single quotes? Like we didn't use any okay. variable named new data, no, sir? No, no new, new data is uh, the new data. See, old data is the one that you have it. See, okay. if you're using, you see, name? here you're using B, right? Yeah. Okay. Or let's say if you're using O and I, okay, input. Now we have to say input equal to, okay. Let's see, I remove this. You say input equal to. Okay. Okay. So the, the, the column name should be same. So if it is I, you have to give I only here. Yeah, now you see. You got only one. Okay. So the variable names, okay, is that, okay, variable name should be same. So if you are using, so this is your in output, this is your input. Or if you are using X and Y, so this is your Y, this is your X, right? Okay. Then you have to give X here. Okay. Yes, I got it. Okay, you have to give X. Now, you see when you run it, okay, you won't get, oops. You get? 33 line number, sir. 
33 okay um, yeah is also y and x yeah x so you get this value okay fine um yes, so this is how we run um uh, recreation okay so now in place of like as we passed previously four values mm -hmm. uh, in line number 37 in place of directly assigning x equal to 190 we can uh, assign the vector to x correct we can assign vector also yeah so ultimately like, it has okay. to be data frame yes yes sir yes yes assigning in vector form then converting into data frame and then uh, passing it to predict correct okay yes sir i'll try that I'm going to show you the other examples. I've done, I've written half book. So I was earlier working with R and then I moved to Python. So okay. The book also became incomplete. Okay. <laughs> So you keep your written notes for everything, sir? Yeah, yeah. Because first time when I'm working on anything, something new, right? Yeah. I need written notes. Without written notes, I can't. Yes, yes. Because yes. I need to learn, right? And it have to be uh, step by step. Yeah. You can't yeah, yeah. start from anywhere. So if you start from anywhere, you will uh, you know, end up yeah, yeah. in mess kind of thing. So yes, sir. That's why I always make that written uh, thing. Okay, this is the step. This is what we should do. Yeah. Then this is what, and then you do two, three examples, and you'll be okay. Done. Okay. So me too, sir. I do have the habit of maintaining notes. Correct. No, it helps. It really helps. Yes, sir. Okay, so these are the steps. Okay. okay, so first import the libraries ggplot2 for uh, graph. Okay. Then, the, if you have to read from online, you can say data set read CSV, data pre processing dot CSV. Okay, right. So earlier, I had a local machine, later, I moved to GitHub. So, okay. so you can, you know, set WD is set current working directory, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Have, yes, setting the current working directory. Yeah. Then all the steps are there here. How to do the missing value. Okay. How to analyze categorical data. Here, categorical data is very simple. You simply say factor, factor of. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, say. yes. No. Column transformation. To, correct. Label encoding. Encoding, transformation, removing. All yeah. three steps will be done by factor, factor itself. When you. Okay. Write then you can create a training set and test set okay okay same step then okay. feature scaling same step okay okay see the text also if you see the it's the same text which in python because i started in r first okay and later you know uh, before i could complete i moved here so you know i took the same theory and changed the code okay okay okay, okay. so this is to run your svm Okay. Here also you have seed. You know what seed is now, right? Yes, sir. Yes. So yes. here also you have seed. Okay. Okay. And there's multiple regression anyways. Okay. okay. You can practice today linear regression on the different okay. data. And um and yeah, just do linear regression only. Same stuff, but with different code now. Okay. 